Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. I wasn't planning on shooting this video, but I was doing a little testing here with some dark chocolate and I wanted to show you how you can tell if your dark chocolate is tempered properly. What I did here was I took a spatula, I poured out some tempered dark chocolate and I spread it on this silicone mat so I completely covered it all the way along and then I just did some little fun designs on there but you don't need to do that part all I did was I spread out the chocolate very thinly and then I left it for about five hours and after that period of time my mat had actually curled and you can see that right here if I lift this up you can see that the chocolate has a curl to it and this is a very very good indicator that your chocolate is tempered correctly the other thing that you'll notice is that there is no chocolate bloom on the top this is pretty thin if I had kept this to say this thickness here I would actually get a chocolate bloom on the top of it the reason being is that I never put this into the fridge Usually when you're making chocolates with tempered chocolate, you'll want to put your chocolate into your mold and then you want to just chill that mold for a little time in your fridge and then bring it out. If you don't do that, you can actually get chocolate bloom because the chocolate is not setting up at the correct temperature. So to clarify, all of this chocolate here, I spread it out and I just left it here. It never went into the fridge and you can see that this is perfectly tempered. So you may be wondering, why did the chocolate curl like this? The simple answer, contraction. If you have a good quality chocolate and it is well tempered, it will contract. And because it was on the silicone mold in a very thin application, it curls like this on its own naturally. So I'm just gonna take some of this and I'll just show you. You can see it just, listen to the snap. really nice and this was just a little test I was playing around with chocolate and I thought I would shoot the video afterwards I wasn't even planning on doing this video but I just wanted to show you this so if you're trying to learn how to temper chocolate this is a great little test this is a silicone mat you can get any type of mat I have one here here's another one it doesn't matter the brand and you want to take your chocolate and spread it right out as thinly as you can and then just let it sit there for several hours. If you've done it correctly, you'll see it firm up within about five minutes if you're using dark chocolate like I have here. And then several hours later, it could be five or six, seven hours later, you'll see that your mat has actually started to curl. And because the chocolate is sticking to the mat, it actually curls the mat up. I should have shown you a video before I lifted it off the mat. You would have seen the mat was actually curled as well because the chocolate was sticking to the mat. So if you're a beginner and you're just learning how to temper chocolate, try this method. If your chocolate doesn't set up in about five minutes, then you know right away that you've done something wrong. If it does set up within five, six minutes, then you know that you've got the tempering down right and then all you have to do is just leave it there for a few hours and just watch come back every once in a while and maybe five or six hours later you'll actually see your mat curled up and you know you've done a very very good job so that's it for this really fast video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you wish i really do appreciate that and if you're on facebook you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro and I guess I should mention just before I leave, if you want to learn how to chocolate temper, yes, I do have a number of videos on how to temper chocolate and they are step-by-step -step videos. So you can check those out as well. I'll put a link to a couple of those videos down in the description box underneath this video. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time.